Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 106. This is part two uh, for Empire on the Map Clock Tower. All right, we are Empire. I do want to go ahead and demonstrate something really quickly. The most common strategy for this map is to typically go up the right side. To come up here, uh, try to get a wireless repeaters, I'm sorry, excuse me, uh, relay towers to build a forest spawn right behind there. Uh, from there, we'll build another relay tower and build further down this corner. The reason why I do not like this strategy is right here. If they come up this tunnel, it they can pretty much cut everything off. And if they're really, really aggressive, it's a problem for us. So they can uh, also, if we put a forest spawn behind that wall, look at this. We have all this exposed area that we have to deal with. They could put turrets. They could have a whole bunch of guys. Plus, all of our resources are on the left side of the map. They can be, you know, we'll be split up trying to capture resources and capture primary. They have that for cover. And the best of all, they got this big bus. They can build everything right behind there. Uh, usually, they can only get range by putting one wireless repeater right there. Uh, for that wireless repeater will try to build out here. They'll try to get a forest spawn in supplies and a turret out there. So it makes it very difficult for us. And when they get siege kits, they can still come up here and shoot off almost everything that's sticking up above the buildings. It's a very difficult, it's very difficult and there's a very, in my opinion, a low chance of success. So I recommend we go up the left side of the map. Uh, the first wireless repeater that we build should build the range to come out here. It will be, should be able to give you enough range to right about there. From here, we have a little bit of cover. We can build a, a power plant right out here, uh, armory right there, uh, board spawn right here, and you can put supplies here or behind the truck or pretty much wherever you feel like. Uh, all of our resources are going to be on this side, so we'll have easy access to them. We won't, we won't have, have to have someone keep coming back to reinforce it, plus we have access to secondary. We can flank them from the left. Flanking them from the left is really, really good because, see, we have access behind the bus, and we can shoot their wireless repeater right there, cutting off all their power and most of their advances going towards primary. Uh, once we cut them off, then the battle's really going to get really heated. They have this choke point here, which is kind of easy for us, but it's also easy for them. But it's hard for us because now we got to defend here, and we got to defend them from coming down from underneath there. And once we cut them off from the middle, they're usually going to get very desperate and want to come up this right side. When uh, the right side is going to be their best option eventually because they have a pretty good view of almost all the structures because these all this empty space will be littered with structures, relay towers, supplies, etc. And let me just show you what it looks like. From inside here, one of their exos can basically just start shooting things off. So it's going to be a little difficult for us. It's going to be difficult for us anyway because now we have three different areas. But likewise, we can also come up right here through this parking garage, take this right, and then take a left, and it hits us right in, in their front door. We can flank them in this middle area. We could also use that to flank them or hit them if they're building along the right side. Plus, if we want to harass them, well, now we have direct access to a couple of other uh, primary structures. This can allow us to come from behind, and as you can see right here, they can put a wireless repeater right in that corner, and it'll actually give them just enough range to build some turrets and things to continue to harass us. So, again, uh, we can build up the middle if we want. It's a little difficult, but if we are able to build it, we can build some relay towers right there. Uh, then we can try to build up the this left side here. It, it left side is a little difficult to defend because there's so much space, but we get a direct shot for power plants and their assembler. Of course, this side will, will have to be, in fact, uh, defended, but um, event another area that we will have to reinforce is this entire right hallway. The right hallway is going to be, once we take the middle, the right hallway is going to be our big weakness. Building down the right hallway is difficult because they can shoot anything from all the way back here. So the right hallway is a little difficult to take, but if we're quick, which Empire is building, is capable of building very quickly, we should be able to get right up here, right in their face, right at their front door. Alright, 
So we are selected to be commander. We hop into the bunker, we hit E, and we go into RTS mode. First thing we do, select the assembler, build that first wireless repeater. Excuse me, that first relay tower. It should give us enough range to build the second one right about there. Then it'll give us preferably just enough range to get right up there. This is also a little bit cheaper, I feel, because you don't have to build so many relay towers to get up to this area. There's our forward spawn. As soon as we get three grand, there's our power plant. And then there's our armory. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to sell off these uh, relay towers in the back once I build my power plant because first of all, we don't need them and it's a little extra cash to sell them off. All right, and then as soon as we uh, build the armory, we get our guys advanced kits right away. We wanna get that as soon as possible so that way they can start popping off the middle. Uh, here we go, build a relay tower there to extend the range. Build another relay tower uh, right there. Build a forward spawn right up in the middle of the action. Preferably a little bit behind the walls, if possible. And as you can see, uh, they're already building wireless uh, re uh, repeaters right next to it. So this gives us a really easy, clear shot to just shoot everything down. Then I went ahead and I put a turret. It'll help defend our guys. It makes it difficult for the team, for their team to come down here. Now they went trying to get really ballsy and build a whole bunch of uh, turrets, but since we're spawning right into the action, our guys hit the wireless repeaters and eventually cut the power off. From here, I went ahead and built a turret in the back door, just in case they figure out that we're there, we're gonna need it. Then we build another forward spawn here, and of course, we gotta get the supplies. We wanna we want give our guys you know several options now I built this I'm only showing that because I was getting assassinated a whole lot build another relay tower there it allows us to build a turret there very easily and then we can use the bus for cover and put some supplies right behind that forward spawn then we're gonna need some more power because we built quite you know, quite a bit of structures and a turret so there's our, we can build it there. Now we can go ahead and reinforce primary, which will be quickly, fairly easily. So already, we're already pushing them back. Now it's just a matter of trying to cover all the open spaces. We got primary, we got the money. Now they're gonna be pushing really hard. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know right now, this map, uh, our guys, most of them are kind of new. They didn't do a bad job at all, but uh, they really weren't able to really push. So. Basically, I tried to back them up. I gave them supplies. I gave them turrets. But uh, the other team actually was really good. They were did a really, really good job at defending and not letting us push up the right or the center. As you can see, a lot of my guys uh, look like they're just running around in circles. <laughs> Um, and then we tried building up the right, but they spent quite a bit of money making sure that we did not build up that side. And then uh, once two guys tried to come up the right and then they died, then they just quit pushing up the right and started going up the middle. Then we lost all the structures on the right hallway. So uh, it wasn't a very good push. Eventually we did start to make a little bit of headway in the middle uh, you know, by putting a couple flame turrets inside there. but. You know, it really wasn't all that. Uh, we did, we weren't able to pull off the victory, but this is the strategy. I feel like it works a lot better than going up the right side of the map or uh, up the center. Well, like, subscribe, leave me your feedback. Tell me what you think about this strategy. Thank you.